At this point, please get yourselves ready for a special Christmas play we have. And uh, yes, here we go. We would now like to present for you the birds in winter. on a nice piece of land with his wife, Vivian. And this night, it was a cold, snowy winter's night. In fact, it was Christmas Eve. Hey, Ed, I'm gonna go down to church. Do you wanna come with me? No, I don't wanna go to church. I never understood what all that was about anyway. Well, it's about God. He came down to earth as a man, Jesus, and saved us. That's ridiculous. Why would God become a man? Well, why don't you come to church with me and find out? Nah, I can't be bothered. I'll just stay here, have myself a cold one, have some chips, and uh, y'all yeah, finish watching this Friends marathon. I think it's the one where they're trying to get the couch up the stairs. <laughs> and, you know, you're the one we can now. And so Vivian went off to church alone while Ed stayed at home, sitting in his chair, watching TV. <laughs> but after a while, Ed actually fell asleep. But outside in Ed's garden, there were three birds. <laughs> And it was very cold. I don't think we're in the right place. I think this might be Wisconsin. I'm so cold, I'm shivering. I'm freezing my birdie buns off. What is that? It looks warm in there, but I can't see inside. Well, I'm going to go in for a closer look. Stay back. Ow! 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 That's my feet! Ow! That hurts! That hurts! Ow! What is that? Oh, don't, don't ask me. I'm, I, I don't know. My brain's as small as a peanut. A peanut? Is that why you're so nutty? Well, well, at least I'm not flying into freaky see-through things. Hey! Ah, cool! I'm so cold! Cool! 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 cool. Outside, Ed saw some birds, and it was snowing very hard. <laughs> so cold. Definitely Wisconsin. And the birds were shivering. And Ed had pity on them. Oh, those poor birds. It's freezing out there. I wish there was something I could do for them. Just then, Ed had an idea. I have an idea. I have one of those barn thingies in the back. Uh, I'll open the door, I'll turn on the light, and then the, the birds will fly inside and they'll be safe and warm. So that's exactly what Ed decided to do. He pulled on his coat, he put on his hat, and he went out into the snow, and he opened up the barn doors to turn on the light. Then he ran back to the house and looked through the window to see what the birds would do. What was, what is he doing? <laughs> what is that creeping light? Oh, uh, I don't know. Maybe it's dangerous like that, like that transparent thing. <laughs> well, I don't know about you guys. I'm not going near it. Me neither. <laughs> and so those birds. 
birds did not go into the barn. They just stayed out there in the snow, and the, and the snow was coming down harder and harder and harder. Oh, oh, that's really hard. That's so cold. These dumb birds, they realize it's freezing outside. I just, why don't they just go into the barn? Just then, Ed has another idea. I have another idea. I know what I'll do. I'll, I'll go into the kitchen. I'll get some bread and I'll, I'll put some uh, little pack for them that'll lead them into the barn as they eat it, and then they'll be safe and warm. So that's exactly what Ed did. He went into the kitchen and he got a piece of bread. He pulled on his hat and his coat. He went outside and he made a trail of bread into the barn. Then he ran back into the house and looked out of the window to see what the birds would do. What is that? I think the great big human put it there. It, it looks like what white bread? White bread? I don't eat white bread. I only eat whole wheat and pumpernickel and sometimes multi grain. Uh, that carb conscious bread I like a lot too. I hear it's good for me. Wait, wait. Watch out. This bread could be poison. I hear humans eat turkeys. Oh! <laughs> I'm not going near that. that. Oh, let's get close. Oh. 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 I'm not going near that. Oh. Oh. Birds, don't they realize it's so cold out there they could die? And you know, they really could die. The snow was coming down so hard it was almost up to their belly buttons. And it was getting really cold. So those birds could definitely die, die out there in the cold if something didn't happen. Finally, Ed was so frustrated. Oh, so frustrated. That he pulled on his hat, he put on his coat, and he ran outside to shoo the birds into the barn. He was waving his arms, and the birds flew in every direction except the direction of the barn. Those birds just did not understand what Ed was trying to do. These birds, why don't they understand what they're doing? Why? I'm just trying to help them, just trying to lead them into the barn. Why don't they listen to me if only... I was a bird, and I could talk to them. I could lead them. They would trust me. Oh, if only I was a bird. At that precise moment, away in the distance, Ed heard the bell on St. James Lutheran Church ring. And at that moment, Ed realized something. I realized something. <laughs> I get it. Now I know why God became a man. He he wants to lead us to safety. He wants us to trust him. He wants to talk to us. Oh, what a fool I've been. Vivian, save me a seat. I'm going to church. <laughs> Ed really did understand. You see, in the same way that Ed wished he could, could become a bird to lead the birds to safety, so on Christmas, God really did become a man named Jesus to lead us out of the threats and dangers of the cold world into the warmth and love of his forgiveness and to eternal life with him. So Vivian got it. Ed got it. I don't really know whether the birds got it. <laughs> but how about you? Do you get it? Yeah. The end. Amen. Thank you. Can I back on the stage? Thank you.